Hello, this is April Grace. Apparently, it's all about the bass, and I have something really special for you guys today. So, I'm going to be interviewing random Catholic thoughts. Um, this is my first collaboration, and I'm really excited about it. So, let's get going. So, random Catholic thoughts. I wanted to know who is your confirmation saint, and why did you choose them? Greetings everyone, this is Dave, the creator, producer, and pretty much everything of the channel Random Catholic Thoughts. My patron saint is Jerome. When I had my confirmation, I had yet to have my conversion apart. I was a non-practicing Catholic, basically. So I chose Jerome, not because I had a particular devotion to St. Jerome, but because of Curly Howard, the best stooge of the Three Stooges. His real name was Jerome Horwitz. Fun fact, all Three Stooges were Jewish. How did you get involved with YouTube, and what made you decide to start a channel? The seeds for starting Random Catholic Thoughts were planted many years ago. As a professional videographer and video editor, I was disappointed by the significant portions of Catholic YouTube channels being just talking heads, or just one person talking to their computer. Their content was good, but the visuals were boring. It drove me nuts. So finally, in mid-2016, when God helped solidify a few ideas for videos, I began my channel, which focuses on high quality and avoids talking heads by showing animations and moving images. Do you wear any sacramentals, or have you done any devotions? I would not say I have a devotional or wear a sacramental in the true sense, but whenever I leave the house, I always have my rosary with me, and I'm very frequently petitioning St. Mary MacKillop for her intercession. She is the first native-born Australian to be canonized, and she was officially declared a saint when I was studying abroad in the land down under. So I figured God was kind of giving me a hint. I did a video about her on my channel. Check it out. I want to know what draws you about our Catholic faith. The Catholic faith is universal and timeless and permanently countercultural. Catholicism asks us to see things beyond ourselves and our immediate surroundings. It challenges us to become the best version of ourselves. It refuses to get with the times and to play by the rules of this world. This last question requires a little bit of thought. I'm not talking random Catholic thoughts, I'm, I'm talking deep thoughts. So, can you tell us about a moment of conversion and, you know, recognizing that our faith life is full of all sorts of little conversions, but can you share with us one moment in particular that you really felt a conversion? The best example is the first real conversion experience of my life. Back in high school, I was a non-practicing Catholic living in a family that really didn't practice. The summer after my freshman year, I decided to spend two weeks at a Christian summer camp simply because I knew people who had done it before, and they had fun. I went with absolutely no intention of being sucked into the religious part of the camp. So I arrive at the camp, which is called Spring Hill, by the way, great place, and I had fun doing the activities there and meeting new people. Every night, the group I was in would have a bonfire full of singing and storytelling, chances to pray silently, etc. I began to see God and faith in a whole new light. Finally, on one particular night, I felt his presence probably for the first real time in my life. So I decided right then and there to become more religious. Now pay attention here. I had decided to become more religious. I didn't decide to become a saint or to deepen my relationship with God through the Catholic Church. You could say it was a vague spur of the moment decision, but it was the first step on my spiritual journey. It was a baby step, but it was a step. My journey continues to this day, and hopefully through the grace and mercy of God, it will end at the gates of heaven. This is Random Catholic Thoughts, signing out. Thank you guys so much for watching, and thank you so much, Random Catholic Thoughts, for reaching out to me to want to do this awesome collaboration. If you want to see my side of the interview, go check out Random Catholic Thoughts. It's going to put it up soon. And yeah, so final couple things that maybe you've never realized about me, I'd be happy to share. Um, feel free to leave your questions and comments below. Check out Random Catholic Thoughts. And yeah, peace of Christ with you always, and ad my arm de glorium.